This morning we're going to cover how to copy to a collection, to another collection, and if it doesn't exist it will create it on the fly. One thing to note here, anytime we do operations like this, same thing with SQL Server where we basically are going to create a table on the fly, uh, we'll need the appropriate permissions. If we don't have the appropriate permissions to do this, it's simply not going to work. It's something that <clears throat> I am assuming, of course, in this video. Uh, that you have the appropriate permissions to do this. But if you don't, then you will definitely um, want to uh, get that all set up. So what we're going to look at doing here is we're going to take a collection and we are going to create a new collection on the fly. On the fly. So let's do a second. Let's look at a collection here. Our collection halves. And you'll notice we have eight documents. And then let's go ahead and let's look for a collection that doesn't exist. Um, and you'll see that non-habs does not exist. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy the habs collection to non-habs. So we're going to do db.habs.com copy to and then we're going to pass in the new name non habs and you'll notice that it returns eight that's because it copied eight documents in that collection and so now if we do db dot non habs dot find dot pretty we will have the same data as habs okay so there are numerous uses for copy to and uh, to, for instance it's a very useful ETL operation very useful in ETL uh, another one is that sometimes my, my favorite example of this is uh, what was it um, in SQL Server I remember somebody wanted me to back up a table and this was when I was uh, fairly new and I'd heard of backing up databases and everything from an administrative standpoint I was like how do you back up a table like that's and he's oh you just you know create a table on the fly and I was like oh that makes sense so it's the same thing. It's like if you were going to make an edit to a table, you might want to like create a table on the fly as a as a backup. In this case, you're creating a collection on the fly uh, as a backup. It really depends on the operation, but this is very. I can tell you that like copying a table on the fly or creating a table on the fly, just like creating a collection on the fly, this is heavily used in ETL operations. So it's something to note if you're going to do any type of ETL development.